Hi everyone, we're here again after our FDE session earlier. We are excited to share our takeaways from session three, which yeah. is about not worshiping work. And oh, so tanda. we'll share the link later on the caption or in the notes. But of course, we'll take a few minutes to share our takeaways. You'd like to start, Hershey? Ah, sige, pwede naman. Yan. So, yung topic, no, actually, marami naman pwedeng insights din about it, but I'll just share yung siguro parang, parang pinaka-striking lang din sa akin. I realized that there are so many reasons as to why we would worship work. Yan. So, for me personally, I know that I tend to worship work because at times I would get my sense of worth from that. So, just a quick Guilty. story. Diba? Yun. So, quick story lang. So, when I was working in the, when I was still employed, when I was working in the corporate world, I would also work um extended hours. Yan. And at times, even during the weekend, mag-work talaga ako. So, naalala ko nga si Bain ako ng boss ko before, no? Na, actually, pwede mo ipagpabukas yan. Kasi may trabaho ka pa rin naman tomorrow. Yan. Pero for me kasi, in that instance, parang yung mindset ko is, ha? Gusto ko pong matikan siya lahat. <laughs> yung matitik off ko lahat. Yan. So, anyway, that's how I worked back when I was still employed. Um, I was a workaholic. Yan. And when I transitioned to being a freelance consultant, I thought that's going to change. And at the start, it did. Kasi mas konti pa lang rin clients ko, ganyan. But then eventually, I saw myself going back to that pattern. Magugulat ako, mag-work ako up until 11. So magsastart ako ng work in the morning. Abutin ako ng 10, 11. Yan. Kasi I wanted to make sure na at least matatapos ko. No? Kani yung parang um, na- nandun sa listahan ko to complete for that day. Um, there was even a time na kailangan ko na magsalamin, no? <laughs> Bumili ng salamin na may blue filter. Kasi parang sumasakit na talaga yung mata ko yan. That's, so that's how, I, that's how I have been working for long hours. So I realized that it's not really about the environment that I was in, but it's it, it there's something in me. Okay, that was making that choice to constantly work hard, 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 and hard. So what I realized is that um I tend to get full, uh, I tend to, get that sense of worth okay, whenever I would get to complete so many things. Yeah, so nandun ako sa productive mode. But then, I would actually see myself getting tired. Yeah, so hindi siya sustainable. Napapagod ako ng mas mabilis. And as I've mentioned, no, kailangan ko pang bumili ng something for my eye glasses. So I think pwede pang makompromise yung health ko if I'm going to continue on that pattern. So so since then, well, syempre pinag-pray ko naman siya. And pinakita naman sa akin ni God that, he did not require me to be productive, but what he required of me, what he asked of me is to be fruitful. Yeah. And so mm-hmm. so now, um, whenever I would have opportunities, I would actually ask God if it's a if it's not just a good thing, but it's a good thing that he wants for me now. Yeah. And so I don't have to say yes to every good thing, but just the good things that he wants me to do now. Yeah. And I would also another question that I would also think about is why am I why do I want to do this? Is it to bring the glory back to me? Kasi uh, mahaku ako ng good praises, mahaku ng magandang pay, yun. Or would ultimately would it actually ultimately glorify God? Yun. So pag ganun kasi feeling ko mawi weed out no or mawi filter yung mga options ko and it would actually clarify what God wants me to do at that particular time. And I'm not gonna have to be on a workaholic mode but it would be on a fruitful mode there. Um, kayo naman. Oh, parang ang dami ko yung takeaways even dun sa shiner mo, diba? <laughs> Gusto ko yung, sinabi, um, ha? <laughs> yes. Unang naalala ko, it's not them, it's me. Joke <laughs> Talaga, ang dami ko issues. <laughs> Itanong natin yan parate, no? Is it them or me? Jamie, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> ikaw lang pala yung... Totoo, oh, kasi my. sa lahat ng tinutuhan mo, anong consistent? Ikaw. <laughs> <laughs> Yun nga, eh, no? Nagbabago yung environment, pero ako pa din yung constant. <laughs> constant variable. <laughs> yes. Pero ayun, kidding aside, kasi nakaka-relate ako doon, kaya inamaan ako. So, it's not, yon it's not you, Hershey, it's me din kasi nakaka-relate ako. And gusto ko yung, ano, yung lesson na even saying no can glorify God. Even no can actually be your obedience to God. yon Kasi nga, um, um, parang yun nga, yung sa Book of Mark, naalala ko yung, um, si, di ba si Jesus, he was performing miracles, healing the sick, um, casting um, out, you know, demons, um, from the people, but there was one point that he had to stop. In the book of Mark, chapter 1, 
um, there was one morning when he said to his disciples, now let's go to another place so I can preach there also because that's why I came here. Yon. So imagine he could have performed a lot more miracles, but then he had to stop because, wait, lang, this is the priority. This is what God wants me to do. And he did that after praying. So he went to a solitary place in the morning. He prayed and then, okay, let's go this route so I can focus on what I needed to do first. So ayon. So even Jesus, he had to say no and prioritize. Yon. Paano pa tayo? Hindi naman tayo, di ba? Ito lang yung kaya natin gawin din. So, ayun. Um, sige. Ay, ayun muna. Kara, you'd like to share your thoughts? Ako, super copy-paste kay Hershey. As in same. As in <laughs> like yung um, motivation then to work hard. This really because I was getting my sense of fulfillment and satisfaction na rin from my clients and like how they would, you know, just praise you after a good uh, good project. But more than that, I also realized kasi parang meron din talagang tendency, lalo na if you're always on social media, you always have the tendency to like... um buy more or like want to have all the th- the things that you see on social media so like kaka home body oh, no yeah like, yes um, um parang um she has a better house or like she, they have better things and all these things and so parang um ako naman i was caught up in that because uh like my uh, my husband and i were talking about it lalo na sa kaka home bodies nga namin <laughs> Home buddies, you see all these nice houses, and you're always like, Oh, they have better house than us, or like, parang, ay, parang ang saya naman ng buhay pag ganyan yung bahay mo. Alam mo yun. So, um, for a while, that is also one of the reasons why I didn't want to hire people because I wanted all the money to go to me. Because we were buying, parang, we were paying for a house, so parang, syempre, we have to save up for a house. But then at the same time, chase yun nga, ecclesiastes, and I was reminded of that kanina. It's like chasing after the wind. And you know, parang I hustle hard the past three years, hustling alone. We've been hustling hard. Pero parang ang hira, parang wala pa tayo sa kalahate. Parang wala pa tayong ipon. Parang I don't know where, where everything's going. Like all lahat ng ano na, lahat ng revenue. Parang di ko din alam kung saan napunta. So even like end of last year, even after all the hustle, wala akong din para. Okay, where did it go? So then I just realized that like our own, our real satisfaction is really only from God. And I was reminded I don't know who said this, but I um it really struck a chord in me. Parang di siya Christian, pero parang sabi niya lang na I wish everyone could afford everything that they want so that they would realize that that's not what will satisfy them. Badly put. Mm-hmm. Alam mo yon, because um we also see all these Hollywood actors, all these successful people, but then they commit suicide. Alam mo yon, ang si- um. Uh, depression is at its highest right now despite everything and then mo lang talaga makikita na there's really that hole in our hearts that only God can can satisfy and siguro on a personal note then um just to share Josh nung bago ka, kas, kaming kasal ni Josh parang nag syempre, with our with our salary that time parang sabi namin grabe no if only we can earn this amount of money feeling ko okay na tayo, parang we'll be so happy. And so, three years after, we actually got, we're earning that amount of money that we thought would satisfy That's us, right. make us happy. Pero now, parang, no, we need more. <laughs> parang kulang pa pala. So, alam mo yun, parang never, we will never um really reach that, what uh, we will never reach that certain point that will really, that will really, fully satisfy us if it's not God. So parang you're always longing for more. Parang it's a mirage. Alam mo yun na parang, ay, dyan tayo, dyan tayo. Pero once you get there, parang, hi, parang asa na? Asa na yung, ano, the thing we're seeking for? So yun lang. Um, it's really only God. Parang siya lang talaga makasatisfy sa atin. So yun, also, also to add pala, now that um I've also hired people, di ba? Parang, at first din kasi parang, ay, we cannot afford to hire people. But then, 
sobrang um, big leap of faith na lang for us to hire people. Parang, sige, kahit, kahit wala nang time ipon. Pero surprisingly, tapos yun nga na-mention ko, Hershey, I don't know if you were there. Ay, wala ka pa ata nun. Or you were still on the road when I mentioned a while ago that um we fired two accounts last week just because the client is so toxic. But at the same time, like, will we afford to lose them? Pero, yeah, but surprisingly, we um hired more people. We fired two accounts. But then God is still, like, how the Lord just really provides for, for the business and for the family. Parang, yun talaga, it's really going back to um trusting Him kahit sobrang... Sugal na, alam mo yun. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Parang, sige na, Lord, talo na lang, basta. We just know, like, um uh, the business is in His hands. Grabe yung faithfulness ni God. Nare-remind, yeah. oh, nare-remind lang din ako. Especially though, uh, especially the part sa um pulling in people to work with me. Yan. Kasi yung sim ko nga technically, no? mas malaki yung kikitain ko kung ako lang. <laughs> Pero, mas masaya kasi kung may kasama ka. <laughs> Tsaka nakaka-help din naman ako sa kanila. And sila rin nakaka-help sa akin. Anyway, Andre, may share uh, ko ba? Um, feeling ko meron. Pero, sundan ko yung sinabi niya about, you know, people. Um, nakaka-relate din ako yung, um, like, working by myself muna. Kasi, um, it takes time kasi to teach, to endorse to trust, di ba? Um, risky at the same time, you know, yung, um, ano ba, yung, yung quality or syempre yung finances. And then, lagi siyang ina-encourage nung art, artist mentors na pinapakinggan ko. Um, so, una, um, it's good to hire people kasi um, you can focus on the things that only you can. So, for mm-hmm. example, the admin things or um, things na hindi mo masyadong, masyadong gustong gawin or yung kayang gawin ng iba, you can delegate it um, para you can focus on the things that you really, really, really love doing. Yon. Mm-hmm. And also, imagine you being a channel of blessing to other people. Um, so, yon. So, two things na naalala ko and take away from what you shared. Ayan. And then, personal, ano, take away. So, syempre, ninamnam ko na yung shinare nyo. So, personal take away ko from the session. Again, do not worship work. Ayon. Sobrang tinamaan ako din, din dun sa session kasi, yes, I understand na ano eh, like, we have that tendency to worship work not because we worship work, but because feeling natin, that's our way of worshiping God, being excellent. But mm-hmm. actually, the underlying, ano don, parang the hidden, see, I would call it sin, the hidden sin would be pride. Yon. Uh, you know, we want God to get the glory, but actually, misan self-preservation siya, or I want to, you know, get the credit in the end. And this is me, I did this, but no, um, from the topic last week nga, God owns my business and I'm merely a steward. Na God entrusted me with this and imagine it's really, and it's not even working for God. It's partnering with God. We're not, we're not his slaves. Imagine um, co-laboring with God, you know, creating something um, because God entrusted us and um. Sorry, one thing. Hindi ko alam kung pasok pa to sa topic, pero meron akong gustong i-share. Um, <laughs> <Ikaw mo lang. laughs> ako yung naman, Ako yung kailangang umalis ng ano, maaga, di ba? Pero hindi mapigilan. Ito na lang. Um, oh, di ka kasi, patulog. I-share mo na. Oo. Um, um, merong nag-share ito. Saturday, I attended something. And then, um, he shared about uh, yung the idea of work even in Genesis. Yun. Kasi diba, pwede ngayon, we think na, ah, work, it's a punishment, or nangyari to, kasi after um, Adam and Eve sinned, nung pinalabas sila sa Garden of Eden, so yan, may work na may toiling. But actually, even before they were sent out of Garden of Eden, there was already something about work, hindi lang halata. So, diba, when um, God created you know, the heavens, the, uh, the earth, ganyan, and then he created Adam. 
he told Adam to have dominion over his creation. He asked Adam to um to rule. Yeah, and so God gave him dominion to rule. So earth was actually parang Adam's dominion. That was his business. So um it happened before he sinned, before he was sent out. So there was already work for Adam. Um, God already entrusted Adam with something even before sin came to the picture. So it's not punishment. It's really part of God's design um, for us to do something, to be fruitful, to multiply, um, to partner with God, with the creation that he did. Ayan. And then, um, ayun, so, ayun lang, so it's not punishment. It's actually a privilege because yun, God entrusted us with something. So, ayun nga, but then... <laughs> Balik sa topic, hindi ko na maibalik, di ba? Don't worship work. <laughs> Kasi nga, there's a lot. Tahi-tahi na. But, ayun. Um, sige. I think God meant work to be a good thing. Okay? Pero yes. when we overdo it, di ba? When we overdo it, and that's the time that, yes. yun, nagiging ano na siya, unhealthy na siya. Yun. Thank you mm-hmm. for that good landing. Thank you for landing. <laughs> Na tsaka ano, next strike din sa akin yun. Kasi parang alam ko may, may verse dun that God placed Adam in the Garden of Eden to work it yes. and cultivate it. Parang ganon yon So it was God who actually placed him and um told him to work in that place. Yun. And for the purpose of cultivating it, diba? making things grow. Ayun. Oh, thank mm-hmm. you. That concludes my takeaway. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Um, yeah. Okay na ako. Masaya na ako. Makakatulog um, ka na. <laughs> Ayan. Sige. So, yan ang ating mga takeaways for this session. Abangan nyo dahil weekly to. So, meron tayong ulit for next week. Ayan. So, yes. for now, enjoy the work that you've been given. Don't be a workaholic. Just enjoy yes. it. And yes. um, bring it back to God. Bye. Thank you. Bye.